Hi, I'm Peter Rhymes from Eyots, and we're here today at the Palmer Boat Show on the Y7. I'd like to take you for a walkthrough. This boat is uh, hull number 17 and probably the most popular 70 footer built today. Under our feet we've got the large dinghy storage, also storage for uh, all the bits and pieces and parts and other toys can fit in here. Then we've got on the top of the boom the actual pulley system which comes out a little bit further, the little prodder, and then back onto the winch and uh, launching the dinghy. What that allows is actually no water uh, to, uh, to, to actually come into the boat or into the back of the boat also designed in such a way um, that it's going from port to starboard what that means is you end up with a lot bigger aft cabins in the back of the boat you've also got uh, the bathing platform which is here which goes down so you've got the best of both worlds i guess with this uh, with this design basically like all Y yachts the boat can be sailed single-handed it's not a boat that you have to have a skipper aboard and all the controls from everything from uh, the jib, the main, code zero, vang, uh, the furling position is all here. And then we've got our bow thruster, stern thruster, and then uh, all our controls for the engine. Uh, and when you see these two controls here, basically on the Y7, we've got a twin engine, twin rudder set up. It's quite unique in this size boat. We've got lockers under here for all the all the uh, halyards and ropes and it's probably about half a metre or so deep. A great visual position either sitting or standing here for the deck and the controls here for the winches. On the port side we've got all the controls for the garage, garage lights, spreader lights, and a couple of spares, but cockpit lights are basically on the port side, uh, not controlling the uh, sails as much, but all the rest of the boat. Same uh, locker on the port side for your uh, leftover ropes. Going forward, you've got your instruments on the mast. Obviously you're gonna have it on these B&G instruments, but also on this boat, quite a good little area there with a curved carbon background. We've also got the wind instruments on display there. As we move forward, nice drinks fridge here. Fit about 15 to 20 cans of beer in there. We've got the tables which actually fold out, so you pull this out and then the table folds over. And the same again on this side, so fantastic table area total when they're both out and uh, for entertaining for probably around probably at least 12 guests around the table. On this owner's boat, we've got the Bimini, I guess it's on a track system that comes through or awning system. And uh, this particular boat set up with uh, in-boom furling. Uh, everything's more or less customized, whether it's the, the color of the teak or the, the cushion color. This is quite an interesting color, but doesn't seem to get very hot in the sun at all. Almost like a terry toweling which I guess is great for uh, when you're on there with your wet, wet swimmers. Working your way forward, nice big side decks. This is an area where they've got the bits and pieces for, you know, let's say you're cleaning, cleaning materials. So nice, again, a locker that's deep enough. You'll see the beautiful carbon inlay through there. The dodge is all hidden under the, the cover here, which is nice. So you don't even know it's there most of the time. Coming forward, beautiful Antil cleats. Obviously rod rigging. This is an Axon rig, as we mentioned with the uh, in, in, uh, in boom furling. And a very, very strong Reckman rod kicker. Another, probably almost a Michael Schmidt trademarks, the self tacker. As we know, Michael from the back Back in the days when he started Hunza Yachts, all the boats came standard and uh, the rig plan was made for a self-tacker, so a little bit bigger J section or uh, on the jib and, and the mast pulled back a little bit further. 
to give you that extra power and typically the rig's a little bit taller than what most rigs are here in the marina today. This should be a superb area maybe just to put a couple of bean bags. We've got another big sail locker in here. We can add another force stay. We've got the anchor, anchor system in here fitted with stainless steel chain and you'll see on the bow integrated into the actual bow sprit is the anchor and then you've got hydraulic furling, hydraulic mainsail. To get a good tension on the headsail on these, even a hydraulic system just to actually get the tension nice and tight is, uh, is recommended. I mean the boat's been made very simple in the way the lines and uh, everything's hidden on the boat but it's all very clean, nothing to trip over here on the deck and that's again another probably Michael Schmidt trademark. So the market really for the Y yachts is people who want to sail short-handed and, and cruise very, very fast. Whether they're racing or cruising with the family, they can do this as a team or a family together. But the beauty of the Y yachts is it's a full carbon boat, but it's not just the carbon of the hull and the deck, it's also the furniture and keeping it all light. And I guess each customer is different in how they use their boat and our job is to find out what they're going to do with the boat and then try and customise the boat to their requirements. Okay, and now we'll pop downstairs and show you uh, this beautiful, beautiful minimalistic interior. So here we are on the Y7 down below. As you can see, the full beam of the boat without all the cupboards in it is just, it's huge. You've got the galley here forward, nice little study. This is probably the most popular layout that we're about to show you in the range. They're doing one at the moment, which has got the uh, fourth cabin, which would come across here and in that area. So you'd lose that study, but most of the Y7s that have been built up to today have uh, got this same layout. In the actual boat, you'll see drawers and things like this all the way through underneath. All the furniture, I mean, it's a, as we know, it's a carbon boat but all the furniture in the boat, it's a foam filled. So whether it's the floors and it's all foam filled to just get that lightness down because you're probably only going to be saving maybe 800. You might get up to a ton in this size boat just with the carbon structure, but to, uh, to get that extra lightness and better performance, Michael's also done all the furniture in, uh, in foam as well. So yeah, these are pretty cool, the way the, uh, almost like the trams or trains. A nice little leather finish. The panoramic, you're not 360, but you've got like 270 degree view. I can see right through these windows, curved glass all the way around. Lots of light coming in from the four hull windows in the saloon. Plus uh, at the moment we've got the air conditioning on and the hatch is open, but it's beautifully cool in here. I think this is probably the spot to be, we'll be here. And then we've got the TV over here which is just beautiful. You can see through the hull windows, you can see what's going out right around the boat, close to the galley. So I think this is one of the best spots in the boat inside. We've got storage also in the seat here and probably seating for around, around seven, maybe eight people in the uh, dining area. We step down now into the galley where we've got two, well, we've got fridge freezer here, which are the drawer ones. Nifty little, put all your bits and dust and pieces. Pops into here, little magnet here for all your scraps and back into the bin. Nice little clever little things like that right through the boat. It's all Corian bench tops. Nice big pantry in here in the corner so every bit of space is being used. Sink with a good drying area next to it. More pantry space and another huge fridge in here, massive I'd say. That one's one, 160, 170 litre. So again, another sort of pantry, which is what you need when you are cruising, but you've got this massive pantry. This is, or this is a place for all your, your, your crockery and cups, but even just here with all the little things to move around and make sure your cups fit. The same again. It's a really great area for, uh, your pots and pans even and then underneath that we've got a nice big big freezer yes. uh, the nice parts of uh, the boat this galley the this particular owner 
He's just recently retired. He was very high up in the uh, computer industry. He was in the design side of uh, one of the biggest companies. Um, and he's basically sculptured all these new things into the boat, which will now become part of the, the new standard, most likely. So this is the uh, main cabin being up the bow. Um, as I said before, this is the most popular layout. Uh, you've got compartments all the way along here for bits and pieces. You head up forward with a full separate shower and lots of light, natural light coming through. I think what's very, very cool on this boat is just the way the light comes up. You've got this curved sort of area. and You can imagine even being at sea, if you're up here, you'd almost be standing upright, but how beautiful the way this has been done. And again, I guess that's why this particular owner loves the boat so much, because he's a de you know, designer, believe it or not, designed even the uh, Apple iPhone. So all the curves were almost matching the Apple iPhone. And as you go further aft here, I think you've got your shoe locker down the bottom. So keeping that completely separate to some nice drawers. Again, everywhere you look, these curves. A lot of work in that, in building this. And then nice big hanging, hanging lockers and big deep drawers, you know. We've got backpacks and, and then the uh, air conditioning ducts running below that. Good storage here behind, and then you've got your plugs and your USB, his and hers, plus his and hers reading lights. And then again, facing forward. When you're on these beds here, facing forward, you've got, you're sitting up, you can see straight out these hull port lights. I think also the floors, just the way the floors and all the wood comes together, it all just flows within this boat. Michael's also got these designers, which, you know, is doing all this very intricate detail. It's just small stuff. I mean, it's just this small everything, you know, it's not afterthought. Again, up on the cabin, on the four, uh, four cabin there on the bulkhead. Also, even just the light switch, how cool. Retro, it's just that detail. The doors, the way they go and the full seal on the doors and the, the hinges and Again, just a simple, clean, very solid feeling door. Here in the nav station, again, look at the seat, the detail that goes into it. Very simple. You've got here with your chart plotter and easy to get to all the electronics behind. Opening nav area. And then you've got your C-zone here, which uh, can operate virtually everything from your lights outside, your bar fridge, engine controls, steaming light, etc. Nice white, wide area coming down, just two steps, beautifully again detail here of the, the leather on the handle. Basically your three battery switch straight on, nothing, nothing hard there when you first hop on the boat. And then this is uh, the aft cabin, which is repeated on the port side. Lots of lockers all the way through. And here's your washing machine dryer underneath. It's nice and easy to get to. Uh, hanging lockers. And there's your, your head up forward. And then for this owner again, small little customizations for the owner as we talked about in the uh, study area of just scalloping out area for his pencils and things. This has just been made for his kids. He's got young kids. And it's like a little little area they can draw and a little study. But wherever you go, you've got these very cool drawers, really, right around the boat. You've got some ventilation. There's three opening hatches in here. Plus some open area here for their gear. And again, USB power on, on both sides. So we're going through into the, more or less the same, a little bit different, the layout, making our way all the way through the crew cabin. In this case, this uh, owner, if he's got extra guests, obviously the crew have got two bunks in there in their own ensuite. And if they, uh, if they don't have extra guests, they actually use this area as well. And in here's just, just a toilet with a uh, shower inside. Full storage under the, the bunk beds here and their own uh, air conditioning control for this area. And then they've got their escape hatch here as you go up some carbon, carbon steps. 
a nice touch. So thank you for joining us on the Y7. We hope to uh, get you on board the Y8 and the Custom 9 very, very soon. But the Y7 has been probably the uh, most popular 70 footer. Not just in the range, but in this market sector. Michael's done such a good job with the boat, whether it's the biggest sort of saloon area, the boat that performs best, and then also things like which we've seen already, the, the fantastic garage at the back. So the combination of the whole boat, it's very hard to fault it. And we look forward to uh, getting you on board very soon. Otherwise, like and, and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you soon. <laughs>